Hey, it's Justin Tech, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the RK61 software, set macros, edit the lighting effects, and more right after this. Before this video starts, if you want to buy this keyboard, make sure to use my affiliate link in the description below, as it doesn't cost you any extra money and it helps me out a lot. So I myself had a lot of trouble downloading this software and finding how to download it. So I thought I may as well make a video on it. So I looked up this video on how to download it because I couldn't get it to work. And it's by this guy named Gizmo Ground. Um, you should go subscribe to that guy because um, I got the link from him. This link here. This is where I downloaded it from. But they also do have their website where you can download it from. I'll start off with that. So you just go to their website here, click download. Then you go to the RK61 software RGB driver, it should say. Click on that. And then right here, you'll click download and then run that install. So I couldn't get that one to work. So you'll have to use this link here if that doesn't work for you. Uh, you just go to the last one on here and then you right click it and then click download. And that should download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. But once you have that installed, you just go run through that application and it should work. So once you actually get it installed and opened, it should look like this. You should have uh, four little tabs here, customize, lighting, gaming mode, and macro. If it's in a different language, just go to this little cog wheel here, click on that, then click on English, and then OK. Also, if you ever need to reset it to factory, you can just click this button here and then click yes. And then, yeah, so that's all for that. You also have three different profiles you can set up. If you click on the profile zero up here, you can change your profiles as well as you can change uh, or remove these ones, like remove that. And then you can add new ones as well by just typing in the name, be like new, then click new. And then you got a new profile that you can change to and click OK. So in these customized setting here, you got uh, a bunch of different options. You can click on each key and have set these to each little function. So the default I will set it to default key. And then if you click keyboard, you can change it to a single letter key on here. So like if I want that to be V instead or something. So now escape will be V. I do not want that though, because that would be uh, pretty bad. So we're just going to set that to default and then it will go back to regular. So then you can also click mouse function so that can act as a different key on the mouse as well. If you want that for some reason, if you want to spam a key or something, I don't know why you would want that, but you can do that on this keyboard, which is a nice option that they did include. And then probably what most people want is macro. I'll get into that later on the video. Then you got combo key here. So you can have it click a bunch of different keys whenever you press it. Again, I don't want that. So I'm going to click default. So run a program allows you to open a program um, just by clicking that button. So you can click on like, uh, we'll say, just pick a random program here and then you just click OK and then every time you click the escape key it will open that program. You can also put in a URL to open it. Then you can also set keys to multimedia so like if you want the back space or like the plus key to be like to uh, like increase the volume or something like that you can click on that and then like say that you want that to be a diff like subtract the volume you can do that. And I, I don't really keep any of these keys like that. I really run it default most of the time, but I do like the options that they do have with the software. Then you have Windows hotkey, so you can click it to open a different uh, application from Windows, like open to desktop or start the task manager and stuff like that. Then the last one is forbidden, so you cannot press the key even if you want to. So yeah, again, I do not want to do that. So then we'll go to the lighting tab over here. This is where you can go through all the different lighting options. These ones you can actually set on the keyboard itself, but it does allow you to uh, slow the speed even more and make it a little faster. It has a little bit more control than the actual keyboard. You can also raise and lower the brightness. 
And you can change the direction of where the effect is moving, like you want to go up, bottom, top. Uh, we'll pick one where you can actually do that. We'll say rolling. So rolling, you can change it from left to right. So that's pretty cool. And uh, the main thing most people want is user define. This will allow you to actually customize it. The only thing is this will only allow you to use static. So you can only change the colors to static colors. You can't change them to um, any other uh, like effect modes. So you can select all the keys and change it to blue. Then once you're done picking the keys that you want, uh, you can click apply and then it will change the keyboard right away, which is nice. And then next is the gaming mode tab. This is where you can click on and then you can either choose to disable all these while you're in a game or you can just pick a few. I usually just leave the windows key disabled when I'm in a game because I don't really want to press that in a game, but sometimes I do want to press Alt F4 or Alt and Tab. So the last thing that most people want to know is macro. So this one, all you have to do is type in a macro name. We'll type this one like game or like CSGO or something like that. And then we'll click new. And you, just, you have to click on that and then hit start record. And then you can type the numbers and then click apply. Oh, sorry, and then you click stop record. Then once you're done stop record, you can click apply. And then you can go to a key on the keyboard. And then this is where you use the macro function that I was talking about earlier, where you click macro. And then you can click on the uh, macro that you want on that key. You can also click to play multiple times or click to stop. I usually just click play at one time. And you can click OK. And then once you press that, it will act as the macro. And yeah, that's all I have for this video. If you want to check out the rest of the videos for the RK61, I do have a playlist for that. I will put it on screen right now as well as in the description. So make sure you guys go watch those videos. And I should be uploading the Ducky Maya review later this week or next week. So make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.